and Guar, you guys are going to be at the Regency Ballroom in San Francisco on the 20th, which is coming up fast. That's You've right. got Dark Funeral and Squid Pisser with you. Now, for me personally, I'm kind of excited about this because it was just over a decade ago that I was fed to the maggot at oh. the Regency. And how was that? Did you enjoy the insides of its belly? I did. I did. I didn't expect it to be so constricting in there, but I guess intestines are going to do that. <laughs> did you see all the other victims inside? <laughs> well, by the time I got to them, they weren't really... Skeletal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Squishy. It was like Skeletal. squishy. Yeah. That was kind of a thing. <laughs> Well, that's cool. So, yeah, we're going to be at the Regency, and there's going to be carnage and chaos just like normal. And with those support bands, I don't see how the Regency is going to be left standing after that show. It's going to be amazing. Do you have to mop up before and after? No, of course not. Like I said, we leave it as a smoldering crater, and they just rebuild it. You know, I, it takes them a few days, but I don't know, you know. It's fine. They've got time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Although it, I, I did notice last night they just remodeled the bathrooms. So oh, goody. They're probably going to be disappointed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> definitely got to go in there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what you were thinking. Remodeling <laughs> bar, so. Let's remodel Wait. the bathrooms. Good, good idea. <laughs> like painting the walls at the Omni. There's a <laughs> all the old metal guard remember back when Guar played the Omni in the 80s. Oh, and the walls were white. Yeah. Not, not after that. <laughs> not after that. Yeah. So it's a, it's a long-standing Guar legend in the Bay Area. We are super stoked to have you guys back. And you're almost 40 now. Isn't yes. that crazy? Well, as, a, as a collective, as a mission? Yeah, the band being uh, uh, awoken has been about 40 years, right? I mean, the band itself is billions of years old. But, you know. The fact that we've been on Earth and awake uh, for the Earth the last mission, year, yeah, it out. <laughs> you know? So, is it going to be um, kind of a mission accomplished after forty years, or oh, is there? No. We're going to keep going until like uh, to spawn. Yeah, we want generations of you people to understand what Gore is. You know, <laughs> excellent. Yes. And uh, the new the the new old album Hello has been reissued. Um, okay. What brought that about with the timing of right now? Uh, mostly a need for cash, you yeah. know, need the cash injection. <laughs> no, we, we also wanted to share the old recordings with, like I said, the next generation. We wanted to get it out there and get, look how cool it was back then, or, or cool it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so what is the stage show going to be like this time? I mean, I, I know, I know, obviously, Carnage, absolutely. But there's always kind of a flux of characters. And there's sure. just a never ending supply of people who need to be annihilated. Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys have got it stacked up really well right now. Because seeing as that the American election is coming close, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the show will have something to do with that. And uh, there'll be tons of politicians and celebrities that'll probably be dragged out there and murdered on stage right in front of you for your delightment. <laughs> delightful. Excellent. Delightment. Delightful delightments. I don't know. What is it? <laughs> These carnage delights. I yes. <laughs> is there ever a time when you just are so depressed because you can't kill enough people on stage? I, I mean, no, look, you guys, you guys breed like rabbits on this planet. I mean, like, it's an infestation. I turn around and there's another human being in my face asking me for something. And I'm like, ah, and just strangle, 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 die. Next. You know, it's just, it's like that mostly. <laughs> it's nonstop. Yes. I mean, it's kind of hard to decide who you're going to be able to kill. I wonder if you decide to retire people on stage, you know, it's like, I mean, clearly Gorbachev finally actually died, so we don't get to see him die anymore. But oh, we'll dig him up. Well, we have You'll no dig problem him. digging people up and, and killing them again. It's not a problem. We'll reanimate okay. their corpses and then kill them once again. Especially if it if it's something that you people want to see, because like it seems like something like that, like you'd like to see that again and again and again. But yes, uh, we do that. I think uh, there might be uh, like one of the old presidents, Reagan. Maybe, maybe we might we might see him. Maybe. <laughs> he is a favorite. We do like to watch him die a lot. So much. Ah. Yes. After, 
after nearly 40 years, how do you decide which songs are going to go in the set list? Uh, it's just a random argument that usually gets into hurt feelings and uh, uh, lumps on someone's head. And then oh. and then the set list is hammered out. Yes. And somebody scrawls it on so, allegedly on some sort of piece of paper and then forgets to put it out anyway. So then we just play whatever song comes out into our minds. That's it. It's just, it's all random. It's all random. It's never so choreographed. You never see anything choreographed. Well, definitely don't see anything choreographed in a show. <laughs> I think that would be even scarier than what really happens at a Gore show. <laughs> <laughs> Choreography would probably frighten the shit. I'm dancing <laughs> involved now. <laughs> Dance numbers. A romantic interlude. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go on record as saying that the Guar TikTok dance would 100% go viral. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and then at the end, you know, there has to be a kill. Yeah, yeah, right. Somebody's head's coming off. That, no problem. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's something that would really resonate with today's audiences, right? I do, I do. The kids already love Guar, so why not get them out there on the tickety talk doing yeah. it? Mm. You know, just offing themselves in a, in a choreographed, in a choreographed. A choreographed, yes, very good. Sort of, <laughs> sort of act. I, I, I feel like we're onto something here. Yeah, I do, I do. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to, where's the social team? Get them on the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> So when um, you guys come through San Francisco, is there any place in particular that you like to hit up? Do you have time to go out or is it all just incubate and then eviscerate? Yeah, most of it's that. Yeah, like it's a, just a blur. It's 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 definitely a pretty city. There's a lot, lot to do there. And if you can uh, navigate your way through all the homeless people, then you can get to the, you can get to the next cool thing that's in the way, right? <laughs> I mean, what is going on over there? Is, is San Francisco actually, is it on fire? What's happening? I don't know. Oh. If you watch any news, what's going on? What's going on over there these days? If there's one thing we don't have, it's a lot of fire. But um, oh. if there's one thing we do have, it is a lot of homeless. But I'll be honest, like the Warfield Theater, which is across town, is is uh, one of my favorites. And the, there's the, kind of like the a- Warfield. It's the yes. Warfield. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they are. they painted there and they don't want you back. Hey, I, we love the Warfield. It's yeah, so awesome. they, they they redecorated, you know. Oh, that's like, why we're not coming back there. Oh. <laughs> but you know, once once they get ready to redecorate again, they're probably going to call you to just oh, do yeah. the demo. Oh yeah, like, blowout party. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, we need to gut this place. We'd like to book war. Yeah, two and two, two. it works out. Two but right across the street, the work. <laughs> Right across the street from there is like my favorite Vietnamese restaurant in the city. And you literally have to walk through what is basically like a crackhead flea market to get yeah. to it. But yeah. 100% worth it. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it kind of keeps out the tourists from the best oh, there you go. <laughs> Tourist repellent. <laughs> it really is. I mean, people don't know how much we hate tourists in California. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. I mean, it's, oh, look at that. Like, just in your way. I'm just like, I'm trying to get through my day, lady. Get out of here. You know, like, yeah. I mean, can't you just send the money? I mean, do yeah, you have yeah, to yeah, money? Yeah, just spend the money here. Don't, yeah. just, don't be in the street. If we could just send you the San Francisco experience over the internet, you could just there buy it go. on Amazon. You know, we'll I, still get the tourist dollars. I think you're into onto something with that. Yeah. Subscribe to San Francisco for a fee. <laughs> You know, <laughs> like and subscribe. You know, like, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, that's kind of a new way, right? Yeah. Did, yeah. did you have trouble during the pandemic not being able to like physically kill people in person? No, oh, no. I, I I made sure my hands were sanitized when I was killing people. It was fine. I wasn't spreading any. I wasn't part of the problem. I was still killing people, but I, you know, I wore a mask. So, you know, mostly to conceal my identity, but, you know, mostly to, to be able to keep killing, you know. <laughs> Still a safe and efficient way to handle it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, no, to, to your question, no, we, we, we found all kinds of in, ingenious ways of, like, utilizing the internet. We did a, a live stream. We actually did a show where we played to some, like, six or seven people on in the internet or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
is that something that you, I mean, because a lot of bands, they found out that the live stream actually works out really well for them. It is. On top of touring. Is it it's something great. that you're going to keep up? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice way to do something for the fans. It's like polished, right? Like you can go in there and you can rehearse and do whatever, or you can just go in your garage and play something, right? You know, so it's great. It's an amazing uh, uh, option these days for sure. I feel like the industry is evolving in that direction because the home DVD is a done deal. Nobody's yeah, yeah. Physical yeah. media is is fast deteriorating into commemorative media, right? Everybody yeah, wants like a, a vinyl. Yeah, you know, yeah. they want like a decorative it, vinyl, it, or it's got to be on the phone. Yeah, and and I think that's what's going to happen eventually. Hopefully, with the uh, innovations in VR, you guys would, won't even have to go out of your house. You can just put the headset on and then you're at a live show it's like hey you yeah. go. from the comfort of your living room in your underwear <laughs> pretty soon you guys will just be killing people from the living room yeah that's it <laughs> that's, gonna, that's gonna be awesome i can't wait for that <laughs> so when it comes to the openers at the regency on the 20th um dark funeral squid pisser how did how did you choose them to go out with you on this they, 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 they present us this giant hat with names in it. We just kind of, oh, look at that. Cool. You know, uh, no, I mean, some of it is like like-minded, you know, bands. We like trying to try to give a, a little bit of a wide variety of uh, sounds as well. So you're not necessarily just stuck in a, a, a heavy metal genre all night long. So a little eclecticness is always kind of gore style, you know. So yeah, that's basically how we do it. We go, oh, well, it's kind of a weird band. Oh, this, those are cool. That's cool, you know. And then they have to say yes, usually. <laughs> do they have to say I, yes? I mean, I said usually. <laughs> yeah. There's some that are like, you know, off stage. You don't see production, all these guns trained on them. You know, <laughs> there's definitely swords in the parking lot. You know? I almost imagine like a video call with you guys, just like you've yeah. been chosen. Yeah, <laughs> come to the show or die. <laughs> That's how I feel like it works. Yeah, I'm show feeling. up and play thirty minutes or die. <laughs> so Guar has had a lot of people participate over the years in the collective. How um, or or can you give me like a rundown of who's on now and? kind of how you decide at some point. Is it like just join as long as you can and until you die or go on to another mission? It's, or it's usually when it's a lack of interest, right? Like they get disinterested with all the killing and just like, well, what's another planet I can go to and I'm going to meander here and I'm going to, maybe I'll be a chef for a while. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll run a bar. I don't know. You know, like it's just, it's, 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 it's how focused these scum dogs can stay around. That's basically how it, how it, uh, uh, what it boils down to, you know? So it's basically like a lot of really big squirrels. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, we were, we were just saying that a little a bit ago. It's like, uh, Guar's like a uh, definitely hurting cats. You're like, Oh, kind of way. You, no, no. Well, why, why are you doing? Don't do that. Why are you? Ah, <laughs> get out of here. You know? <laughs> Awesome. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else we can hit at this point. Um, what do you feel like? Oh, I don't know. Are, 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 uh, or do we want to keep it quick and dirty since we were both like planning on doing other things today? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, yeah, no, no. I'm I'm fine either way. We can end it right here. It's a beautiful day. We can get out of get out of our way. That's fine. Totally cool. Okay, cool. I didn't know if there was something else. Cause I, I normally, I sit down and I like, look at all your last interviews and sure. see what all the, the new press releases say. And like, and then basically I was like, oh, we're doing this yeah. in an hour. Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, you know, you push the new tour. Thank you. That's great. We're going out okay. doing yeah. that, doing that whole, uh, us, uh, run. And we'll be out with those bands for uh, most of that run. There'll be uh, some subbing out cancer bats are coming on for a few shows. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a hoot. So everybody's gotta come out, check it out, and you know, die. <laughs> come out, see Guar, die. Yeah, make sure your make sure your will's filled out. I mean, just courtesy to your loved ones. That's all. <laughs> yeah.
maybe clear your cash on the on the laptop. Oh, yeah, no, uh, Venmo in or or uh, PayPal at all to Sleazy P Martini or Guar, whatever. You know, just make sure you, you can wheel it to me. I I don't care. Wheel it to me. I mean, please wheel it to me. Um, please. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, if you just give everything you have to Guar before yeah. you die, you don't have to bother with a will. That's right. Just will it all to Guar and then come to the show. Enjoy your last few breaths and then die. <laughs> awesome. I will see you at the Regency on the 20th. All right. Have a fun one. You too, man. Cheers.